Here in the UK, recent reports highlight how fewer people are giving to charity, possibly in part, as a result of us becoming a much more cashless society. There's evidence, though, of a groundswell of people who want to improve our environment, tackle poverty and promote human rights for everyone. And in our increasingly digital world, technology is providing the ability to make global change a reality, even in the most modest of ways, via so-called micro-donations in store, online and in-app. Well, joining us to look at this in more detail is Alison Hutchinson, CBE. She is the CEO of the fintech charity Pennies. Alison, welcome so much to Cyboss TV. Now, Thank tell you. us about Pennies. Who are you? And what have you been doing in the UK? Because you've been extremely busy. We have been rather busy. Um, we've just decided to take fintech and give it a really good purpose. And in essence, what we established was one of the most popular ways to give in the UK is literally dropping coins in a charity box. It's easy, it's affordable, and it just makes you feel good as part of your everyday life. But as in the industry, we are driving a cashless society, which by the way, in the UK, one in four people now leave without any cash at all in the morning. And therefore, how can these, they give those little donations? So what we've done is to create this environment where people can click at the end of any retailing environment, give a few pennies, and make sure they feel better as part of their everyday lives. So talk us through these, these micro donations and, and how can fintech or paytech industries play a role? Thank you, yes. Well, let me give you an example. If you take micro, it's all about little bits. Mm. One of our retailers that we have live is Domino's Pizza, a global brand. In the UK today, their customers, through their mobile app and through their online ordering, can click and round up and donate a few pennies to teenagers fighting cancer. And do you know, every 10 minutes, those micro donations fund another hour of care for a teenager fighting cancer. And that's the importance of micro, where you're only giving a little bit, but together we're a community of people that are making a huge difference. So the role Paytech and Fintech play is I work with around 40 or 50 different technology and payment companies at the moment to make sure it's easy for a retailer to enable something like pennies and micro donation movement because we all know how busy the agenda is. Mm -hmm. So if the payment and the fintech industry work with us, we can open up this opportunity. And if I give you a little feel, if every UK adult gave just a little Frito bar a week, which as we know is the smallest chocolate you can buy, that would be less than a cup of tea every month. We'd raise a billion pounds of new money for the UK charity sector, which is an increase of 10%. So that's the importance of micro. Wow. Okay, so that, that contextualizes it. And what I find interesting is why people are giving less to charities. Now, in the introduction, I talked about the, or referred to cashlessness, but do you think it goes deeper than that? Is it just basically a lot of people can't really afford to give, perhaps in the increments that some charities would like? I think there's a lot of reasons why giving has reduced and in fact there's a global giving survey run by Charities Aid Foundation that does show I think about 43 countries now have seen the level of donation go down. Actually the level of volunteering is going up but actually giving money is going down. I think some of it is there's a few challenges about the charity sector and what they're doing and how they're governing. Mm. Uh, I think secondly people are a bit more uncertain about how much money they'll have. So to plan a level of giving on an ongoing basis can sometimes feel just a little bit challenging. Whereas if you make it easy for them to do it in little increments, sure. and if you reflect their lifestyle, I think people want to, we just need to make it easy for them. Do you think there's also an element of compassion fatigue as well, that some people feel that perhaps they're being blitzed constantly by charities and it's like, hang on a minute, enough is enough because mm. charity begins at home as well. I think there is some of that too. And I think certainly in the UK, we found there's now the kind of equivalent telephone preference service, which says unless you've given permission through the GDPR permissions, people can't be contacted at home because we've seen people being stopped in the street, being harassed at home. Mm. And what we see in today, and particularly the millennial community, they're living life through their lens about their choice, but where they want to give and how they want to give. And so for me, it's about empowering consumers so that if they want to, they can, but you should never feel guilty for not. You've given us an, an idea uh, already, of course, but just what would it mean if more people were able to donate and did donate even just a few pennies? It would be amazing. I gave you some examples earlier about the fact that I still can't believe together, not just my pennies, but our pennies can create such an impact. And so for us, the really exciting thing is every time we've enabled the technology, 
immediately, there's been no big communication plan. Consumers just get it and they just want to click and add their pennies. And when you then explain, for example, at lunchtime in one of the pub chains in the UK, that funds 12 hours of a Macmillan nurse. So the more we can work with the payment industry to make it available for more merchants, the one thing I guarantee is when we switch on, consumers click and donate. And we've had already over 80 million consumer donations, raising 20 million pounds, all a penny at a time. And, and it's a very simple idea, really. And of course, it's, it's usually the simple ideas which are the best. But what do you see as the biggest challenges or hurdles for the adoption of your particular model or Penny's model? Yes, it's, it's, well, when I started off about eight years ago, it was always a view of this will never happen because actually there's so much going on in the payments world, as we know, with PSD2 and open banking and PCI compliance and a lot more peer-to-peer. -peer. You will never get an industry to get together to make this happen, which was one of my early challenges, which for me, you don't give me a challenge like this will never happen because behind these great companies are human beings. And when you go to the leaders of these fantastic companies and share with them the potential of micro donations, we've been very fortunate to attract people that have said, actually, we will help you along this journey. So we've worked with a large number of payment and tech industries, which means a large number of merchants can join in, which means consumers can do what they want to do. It's a shared vision, basically. It's a shared vision, which says in society, which is what I think you were saying earlier on, Deep down here, most people want to do a little bit and want to make the world a little bit of a better place. But if we can't make it easy and affordable for them, it's quite hard in busy lives to fit in. So my biggest challenge was trying to get the industry to get started. And the way I did that was by appealing to them as human beings. And it worked, obviously. <laughs> well, we're on with the mark. There's a lot more to go. Yeah, but, but when it's working. Started. Yeah, exactly. Winning over that kind of scale of support is an incredible achievement in itself. But what would you say is the biggest achievement so far in pennies? That's a really good question. Well, I guess on one hand, you could say it's the fact we've now got 65 retailers online. Nobody's ever switched off that switched on, which I think is really important after eight years. Interestingly, every time we're live with the retailers, donations go up and up over time because we make it easy. So people don't need to give if they don't want to. They only give a micro donation if they do want to. So that's creating what I think is the mo biggest achievement is we're creating the feel good factor back into life. We're all busy, we're all challenged. There's enough chaos out there. If you can just get that little happy moment at some point in your week, then I think that's really important. And when you realize together with others, you're making a real difference. And with pennies, while we guarantee there's no follow-up from the charity, back to your point earlier, because it's anonymous giving, we track every click to the impact it's making with those charities. So we know that together, those pennies are actually going out there and changing lives and communities. And psychologically, that's important because some people feel, oh, I've only, I've only given a pound. What can a pound achieve? But you've actually contextualised it. It can actually achieve a great deal. Absolutely, and working together as a community. And there's so much that's stripping communities apart at the moment. Whereas micro donations gives people to come together and be part of a common goal. And, and given that and what you're doing, what does the future hold? Because, you know, there's, there's a huge amount of potential for micro donations. But what is the next step? Because it, 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 it can't keep this shape forever. At some point, it's going to mutate into something else, <laughs> isn't it? Absolutely right. And so for me, I'm really excited about the future. We've only scratched the surface in the UK, predominantly with card based type of solutions, whereas we see a lot more of mobile wallet, we see a lot more of uh, open platforms and marketplaces evolving. We then see the use of future request to pay technology where you might get payment directly from your bank. And that's just in the UK. We then take a step which says in this global world, the UK is a tiny country. So if we can galvanize a success story that's driving impact in communities through fintech for good and then launch that in an international stage, which is what a lot of our retailers and payment technology companies are encouraging us to do, it just blows my mind. Well, it's a wonderful idea. The amount of times yes. you buy something and it's you know just a few pennies off a pound exactly. or a 10 pounds or whatever it might be, and you never really think about it, but the way that can actually pile up and do some good, it sounds like a fantastic idea, and we wish you all the very best with it. And the very best with Cybos 2019, Alison Hutchinson, CBE, CEO of the fintech charity Pennies. Have a wonderful Cybos, and thanks for joining us on Cybos TV. Thank you very much. Brilliant, thank you. Oh my God.